Hi everyone, Ryan here from Make a Scene, coming at you with another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be painting the small corner ruins. This comes from our resin cast line, the ruins of old. And I'm going to show you how to get it from this to this. Let's get to the workbench. So to start off, I've got a mix here of black and white with some khaki beige and a touch of yellow just to get an older stone look. And it's just a case of putting that all over the building. For the ground colour, all I'm using is a burnt umber straight out of the pot. Making sure to be careful when going closer to all the stonework. Don't worry too much if you make a mistake here, because we'll be picking out the rocks in the next stage. So here I've just got a mix of black and white to make a slightly darker grey and we'll be painting all the rocks in this colour. For the wash stage all I've used is watered down black paint and all you have to do is put that all over your model. Now I'm just doing a quick dry brush of the khaki beige that was part of the stone mix that we used at the beginning. This is just to highlight the details on the building and it gives it a slightly more weathered look. I'm going to use Citadel's XV88 paint to pick out all of the vines, just being careful not to spill over onto any areas we've already painted. For the leaves I'm using Lauren Forest, and it's just a case of picking them all out with this colour. Now it's time to wash over what we've just painted with bile tan green. Doing this will bring those vines out of that brown colour and give them a nice green hue. To highlight the leaves I'm going to use Elysian Green and what you want to do here is while painting the leaves you want to leave a dark green line running down the centre of the leaves. Now to just quickly highlight the vines I'm going to use a Shabdi Bone and this will bring out all the details that the wash may have covered up. Now for adding my static grass I'm going to be using PVA glue, but any white glue will do. Just being careful when going close to the rocks. And for the static grass I'm using a blend of World War Scenic's Summer and Dead Grass, and it's just a case of pouring it where you've put your glue.
So there we have it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For a full list of paints and materials, they'll be down in the description box below, along with a link to our website where you can find all of our products and even commission information in case you don't have the time to do it yourself. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos and painting tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Here at Make a Scene, we love designing and making new terrain features for our tables like the one you've just watched. So if you'd like to support us further so we can keep doing what we love, you will also find our Patreon below.